the parlor, the social center of any Victorian home. Here, the Wickwires entertain their guests with a variety of parlor games. These ancestors of today's party games allowed Victorians to test their self-control and show off their refinement. Ow! No! God! Jeez! No! We're having fun. Today on Wickwire. play parlor games, you need to set up the room. The parlor displayed the family's most valuable treasures. How did they make sure that rowdy games didn't destroy their home? To find out, we need to look down. Victorians put small wheels made of brass, wood, or leather on the bottom of their furniture. The wickwires used these wheels, known as casters, to move their chairs out of the way. Now, Let's play some parlor games that teenage Frederick and Charles might have enjoyed. Created in England, Are You There Moriarty is a reference to the arch enemy of Sherlock Holmes, who fought Holmes to the death. Two players are blindfolded, and each holds a rolled up newspaper. Then, they lie on the floor and hold each other's hand. One player shouts, Are you there Moriarty? And the other player shouts, Yes. The first player then tries to hit their opponent on the head with the newspaper. Only hits on the head count. The other player can try to deflect their opponent. It's like Marco Polo with violence. In the ball of wool, two teams sit around a table with a ball of cotton placed in the center. Each team tries to blow the cotton ball away from them and off the table. The first team to successfully blow the wool off the table wins. Reverend Crawley's game is like a stand-up version of Twister. A group of people stand together in a circle and put their hands in the middle. Then, everyone tangles up their arms and grabs the hand of someone on the other side. No one can let go of anyone's hand, but the group must untangle themselves back out of the circle. This game is still played today as a team-building activity. You've probably played something like it at work and got to know your coworkers much better than you ever needed to. The final game is called Snapdragon. Victorians poured rum into a bowl and dropped raisins inside. The object of the game is to reach inside the rum and grab as many raisins as you can. There's just one catch. Kids, do not try this at home. These are just a few of the hundreds of parlor games Victorians played. To try more parlor games, join us on Friday, April 6 at 5.30 for our free event, Parlor Games and Beer. We'll have $5 eight ounce pours from Hopshire Brewery. And remember, the next time you're hosting a party and your bored guests are gazing fondly at the door, you can always light their drink on fire.